Do you think this is faded? Faded? I think some force in the universe made us meet each other so that we could be here together right now in this exact moment. Can you feel it? I don't know what I believe, but hearing Rachel say it, it really feels like maybe fate did have a hand in this. I can feel it. What I can really feel is her, which is where the answer lies, I think. Rachel pulls back and we gaze at one another. Her smile doesn't seem the most so mysterious to me anymore. It's a good feeling. Are you ready to take that photo? Right. The contest. Right. That, right. Yeah, the thing. I the thing. I've forgotten, but I nod, reluctantly pulling back. Yeah, I think I finally am. No pressure. Lots of pressure. It's just reminded reminder of our promise helps embolden me. I nod, smiling. No pressure. I put my bag to the side, out of the way of the shot, and grip my camera tight before getting to my feet. I expect Rachel to get up as well and hop onto the railing or something, but what she does surprises me. Instead of standing, she lays down with a cigarette in hand, head lolling back, her hair spilling over the concrete right off the edge. Then when I see it, I know it's perfect. When I lift my camera to my eye, my mind is blissfully blank. I don't mean that I'm not thinking about anything. But I'm not thinking about the things that I've spent so much time worrying about. I'm not thinking about my own insecurities, or about winning the contest, or about trying to emulate the greats, or about not achieving my dreams. Instead, the only thing I'm thinking about is the contest's theme. Bonds. The bond between model and photographer. The bond between artiste and muse. The bond between Rachel and me. Through my lens, she looks completely unafraid. When the smoke from her cigarette curls up to wrap around the moon, I know I have my shot. That was a pretty good shot. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That was a pretty good shot. You pretty cool. are good. But at this point, Max has two photographs of people that are smoking. <laughs> you are making bad decisions, Max. No, 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 no. <laughs> I arrived to class, wait before it's due to start, as early as possible. Now that I've eaten this, because I barely slept last night from nerves, and it's been impossible to pay attention to any of my classes today. Same old, same old. No kind of, don't get your hopes up promise beats up the butterflies in your stomach. <laughs> beats, beats up the butterflies. <laughs> <laughs> beats up the butterflies in my stomach, I guess. Still, it's a relief to see that Rachel's already there when I walk in. She's sitting on my desk, texting, and when I approach, she looks up right away. Max, hey! Hey! Hey, you! Hey! 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 Hey, hey guys! Hey. Hey. Are you okay, Rachel? Hey! <laughs> wait, wait. Uh, hey. You need to cry again? <laughs> There's no mistaking her smile as anything but a total open no enigma here. No, 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 no riddler here. No riddler here. Please. Hi, Rachel. Hi, Rachel. I see that you decided to be a Kina too. Not so much. I just continuously threw up over and over out of my anxiety and stress Whoa. over this photo Whoa. as if it was the most important pivotal point of my life <laughs> and because I couldn't sleep I watch a lot of horror movies <laughs> I smoke like an entire pack of cigarettes and watch new age meditation videos <laughs> we looked at one another for a moment understanding that we were both stressed out <laughs> of our minds <laughs> And then we started laughing. <laughs> you should have texted me! <laughs> I should have, since you're probably already well past the Rachel saturation point anyway. Never! You're nervous, right? Hell yeah! Yeah, unfortunately, as much as I told myself the pressure's on, I put all the pressure back on me. <laughs> Rachel nods. I did the same thing. Oh, I've been thinking about that too. I think at this point it's probably okay to cross our fingers. She offers me a gentle, reassuring smile. 
and some drugs <laughs> to calm my nerves. Whoa. Rachel, <laughs> we're straight edge. <laughs> Considered my fingers crossed then. I reach into my bag of tricks and pull out the contest photo, carefully pinned into a folder. I hope I hold it out for her to see. She takes it eagerly, eyes sparkling. I still love it. You're going to make me a copy, right? No, you get to have the original. You can have the original! Don't tempt me. I'll really take you up on it. Good, because I'm not kidding. Wow! Wow! What am I, am I reading? We, we laugh together, and I find myself regretting again that I really tried to get to know Rachel before- Oh, I really never tried to get to know Rachel before this week. I can't believe I spent a whole year thinking that we'd always need Chloe around in order to relate to one another, because she's too hot. <laughs> we needed the in-betweener. Of course, I can't deny another truth to myself, that when my heart races, when I'm not- <laughs> Can you, you know not? No. <laughs> Yes, no. Know. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's not just because she's so excited to be around. <laughs> I wouldn't be the first person to develop a crush on Rachel Amber. And I definitely know it won't be the last. What was that crazy guy that murders her? <laughs> I know that she's interested in someone like me. She said you... She specifically said... That you were her type. <laughs> she called you cute and adorable on numerous occasions. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And you're still like, eh, she's, she's never gonna she's like. She's so cryptic. I don't understand. I don't know what you're trying to tell me. <laughs> I love you. You're just being so cryptic. <laughs> <laughs> being friends is more than good enough for me. I mean it. Just getting to be around her, knowing that Rachel feels like she can be real with me, is enough to make me happy. She can't be real with all you losers, Whoa, just with me! Aggressive. <laughs> I feel really lucky. I've got a crazy idea. Torn from my thoughts, I look up, flustered. What is it? Just hear me out. If we win... That's a good okay. celebratory tattoos. What? <laughs> yes, do it. Rachel laughs wildly. <laughs>, <laughs> the same laugh. Come on, just a little tiny one for your little tiny self. I am not tiny! <laughs> I guess, pretending to be finished. Huh? <laughs> I have one. You have one inch on me! Maybe two! Maybe! Fine! You can put it behind your ear or something so your parents won't kill you. Rachel, this is the single worst idea I've ever heard. Let's do it! <laughs> but I can't help but smile. Rachel Amber's impulsively could be a good thing for Max Caulfield. Let's get a tattoo. Let's do it. Sure! Let's do it! <laughs> Bless you. We should do it even if we lose. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I do feel invincible right now. My answer seems to be surprised. Rachel's just as much as... <laughs> Bless you. That's <laughs> 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 the surprise the demons are getting to you. Yes, Chloe's got a freak. <laughs> Along with every member of my extended family. This is going to be so much fun. I own us in Martins in Portland. What are you thinking of getting? Little oh, dough. No. I don't know. I mean, I thought about it before. Just never in a serious way. Maybe a little dough. <laughs> that would really suit you. What about you? Cats. I've been planning on a bluebird behind my shoulder. <laughs> I should have guessed. What? Too predictable? No, it's perfect. I glance around the room. More of our classmates are arriving, including some familiar faces. It feels like I haven't talked to in ages. Rachel sees me looking. Go catch up. I don't think Dog's gonna be here anytime soon. Thanks, Rachel. I'll come sit with you when the class starts. 
Hey, Victor. Hey, Kay. Hey, Victor. <laughs> hey, Victor. Hey, Victor. Hey, Batch. <laughs> Oh, if it isn't Max Caulfield, I'm shocked to see you actually manage to peel yourself away from the mess you've partnered up with. You mean Rachel, right? Victoria? Who the fuck else? You know, for a second, I thought you'd actually have better taste than that. Rachel, I know about the war. People don't <laughs> want to wear uniforms. Just Max, what live are you with talking it. About? <laughs> You don't have to be such a fascist Nazi for no time. Max, are you high? Can you not? Victoria! Max, <laughs> can you not be this way? <laughs> right now? I love you. That's better. Of course, Victoria's a total bitch. <laughs> Victoria's a total bitch right off the bat. I should have known. Why oh why did I broach her? But of course, you'd go straight for Rachel Amber, and now you're hanging off for so pathetically, it's physically nauseating. You look a lot like another one of her dogs. I can practically see you join. Okay, Rachel, I mean, Victoria, this is just because you're jealous. I know you like us, but it's just like right now we're with Rachel. We'll, we'll go see you again and get your good ending, I promise. Whoa, I promise. <laughs> I knew it was a bad idea to talk to you, bitch, Toria. You don't know anything about Rachel. She's so cool. And not her dog. I'm her dachshund. I mean, <laughs> I'm her friend. Whoa. <laughs> no one else is her dog either. What? Do you actually think you know anything about her? What a fucking joke. What a fucking what a fucking joke. In Max nice. Caulfield, you are literally too gay to function. <laughs> you don't even go here! <laughs> In Max Caulfield, you don't even go here and you're too gay to function. So you show yourself out. And like, I'm known for Gretchen Wieners. <laughs> Victoria, Victoria laughs sharply. She's an asshole. Her lip curling and her sneer. I've come to know so well. So she constantly laughs at you. <laughs> you know, I wouldn't be surprised if she stringed you along for the ride, too. Shut the fuck up! Shut the fuck up, Victoria! I'm sorry, what? I said shut your fucking face, you bitch! <laughs> <laughs> stand up straight. I stand up all of a sudden, pumping myself up. I'm not gonna sink to her level, but I'm not gotta let her say keep saying all this shit about Rachel either. Fuck you. You don't know a thing about Rachel, and maybe a lot of other people don't either, but that doesn't give you or anyone the right to just make things up about her. Whatever, I was just... Just what? Victoria seems startled that she doesn't know what to say. She was just warning you. <sighs> Never mind. Just be careful, Caulfield. You never know when she'll throw you aside. She won't! Wait, wait. Okay. I have a theory. What is your theory? That Rachel and Victoria, since they were both in the book text club thing together, they were kind of like hitting it off, right? Mm -hmm. But then Rachel just kind of threw her to the side. And like Victoria's really mean about it and they have like this kind of standoff thing now. And Victoria's just trying to like warn Max, like but she, bitch, Victoria doesn't know how to other talk than bitch talk. But she's trying to warn Max that she might get tossed aside just like Victoria got tossed aside. Yeah, I can see. Like I can see that. I was like, why why else would she hate her and like so much and I just don't understand why. Like Rachel and her started off get hitting it but then they like started realizing they weren't compatible and Rachel was like you know what fuck this no and Victoria was like <sighs> and Victoria was probably really maybe she was really hurt I don't probably. know probably like maybe this is one of the times where like people generally got to her and she's like you know what 
be careful, Caulfield. She just might throw you away one day. I don't know. Because she felt like she got thrown away. That's genius. That's probably what. Uh, that's just a theory. It's just theory. It's a theory spinning. Theory. It's theory. But, that's what I think maybe happened. <laughs> Victoria lifts her chin dismissively. Clearly, she realized that her manipulation is not going to work on me this time around. Fine. Not that it matters when I'm going to win, anyways. I'm not so sure about that, bitch, Victoria. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> Apparently, neither do you. Dot dot dot. <laughs> Chloe, my homie, what is up? Hey, superstar. Oh, it's such a relief to be able to finally talk with Chloe again. I can't help but grin. Grin so hard. Chloe, hey! How are you feeling? I know you get before these things. Yeah, I threw up three times already. I mean, oh, uh, well, nervous. Typical. You shouldn't be, though. We've just been singing your praises all fucking week. Did you say I was hot? <laughs> she has! Yeah, and it's hella annoying. Like, I already know you're talented. She's been barking up the wrong tree. All week. Non-stop. I'm sorry. <laughs> My shoulders slump. But you know... I am awesome! <laughs> <laughs> but you know, I'm pretty awesome. <laughs> That's what I would do if someone complained about shit. Like, yeah, but you know, I'm sorry, but I am awesome, aren't I? <laughs> <laughs> oh, well that's great for her to say, but it's possible she might have a little too much faith with me. Uh, okay, Max. Somehow I doubt it. There's Chloe's infinite faith in me again. Yet again. <laughs> I'm serious! This was super important to her, and we both spent all week working on it. Yeah, I know you have. It's barely s I've barely seen either of you these last couple of days. Which kind of sucks, considering. Considering you're leaving? Is that what you're gonna say? You're leaving us? You didn't tell anybody? <laughs> God damn it, Chloe. <laughs> I think I already know what Chloe's gonna say. She's gonna say she's gonna leave me. <laughs> But I can't help the stab. Stabbing me in the back. <laughs> Considering what? Considering you guys are my best friends, you know, but it's whatever. What's important right now is that you stop freaking. I like how it's drawn out now. I'm like, now we know what's going on behind the scenes. <laughs> I'm not freaking! You're freaking! You totally <laughs> are, and you shouldn't be. Me and Rachel are a fucking dream team, and I can't believe it took you, the, you guys this long to work together on something like this. I'd hate to beat the competition. You're going to completely demolish. I can always count on Chloe no matter what. I'm so happy she's so supportive. Oh, mm, so supportive. Even if I didn't get to see her much this week. I'm still not sure of that, but... Thanks for your photo confidence, Chloe! Anytime. Anyway, I'll let you go collect your spoils. Don't forget the little people, alright? Never! Hey, Kate. Hey, Kate. Max, it's good to see you. I've missed our talks. I've missed you, too. <laughs> Me, too! It's been such a busy week with the contest! Too much excitement for me, honestly. I'm kind of glad it's over. Oh, right! I hope, um, I hope Kate's doing well. <laughs> she seemed kind of down at the beginning of the week. <laughs> it's been three hours for slipping. <laughs> this slip is so hard. <laughs> Sorry to hear that! I'm sure you had fun, though. I saw you and Rachel talking. Was she your partner? Kate, just know. And if people are bullying you, I'll fucking kill them. I mean, <laughs> oh, badness. <laughs> yeah, she's great. You're great. We're great. We shall be friends. I think the photo we entered was really special, and I couldn't have done it without your her help. I can't wait to see it. I'm sure it's awesome, like all your photos. Thanks, Kate. I hope so. 
take a deep breath, trying to quell my nerves. Major really thinks we don't. We have a shot. <laughs> we don't have a shot. We're gonna lose. <laughs> <laughs> Major really thinks we have a shot at winning, and I would suck to let her down. Don't worry. I believe in you both. Even though I don't know Rachel that well. She's so pretty and popular. It's a little intimidating. You're pretty. <laughs> Rachel and Kate definitely run in completely opposite social circles. I'm not surprised that they don't really know one another. Maybe I should work on changing that. Hell yeah. You should... You, you'd be surprised. She's actually a really sweet person once you get to know her. Despite any rumors you've heard, I know how that feels. This full of some real jerks. Maybe my intuition about Kate on Monday was right. Wait, we were able to hear the rumors about Rachel, but we never noticed the rumors about Kate. I feel like that says something about our French. <laughs> well, we only ever notice rumors about someone when we're pursuing them. That's true. What do you mean? Um, I'll tell you later. After I'm done crying. Good. I really hope Kate knows that she can count on me, and that I really want to go out and have tea. Class is about to start anyway, but I'm glad you had fun with Rachel. Maybe I'll stop being so shy one day and talk to her. 